the Bumbling Knight. It's perfect. It's my favorite. Squidgy, I think this is the best castle we've ever made. Mm -hmm. Justin, Sammy's mom just called. He's on his way over. Okay. Sammy's coming over? Uh-huh. Remember the last time we played castle? He bent the flagpole. And he knocked the tower over. He broke a castle into a bajillion pieces. Well, we're not going to let that happen this time. What are we going to do, Justin? Hmm. We are going to be knights. Yeah, brave knights. Brave knights who are protecting our castle. Squidgy, Olive! Welcome to the Castle of Camelot! Wow! Do you live in this castle? I sure do. I'm a squire. That's a knight in training. We, we want to be, be nice too. too! Then we'd better go meet the king. Follow me. Wow! I've never seen such a round table before. This is where the knights of the round table used to sit. <laughs> But they're gone now, and there's no one to protect Camelot. Justin, Squidgy, this is the king. Pleased to, to meet you, you your majesty. majesty. We'd like to become knights of the round table, sir. Yeah! Right. Ooh, as king of Camelot, <gasps> I hereby dub you the new knights of the round table. Good luck, knights! <laughs> Yay! Oh, all right, we're knights! Oh, uh, yeah. So, if we're the new knights of the round table, what happened to the old ones? They all ran away because they're scared. Just like the king. But why? What are they scared of? The bumbling knight. The, the bumbling knight? He's been terrorizing the whole kingdom. <laughs> ah! That's him now. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> there he is. The Bumbling Knight. <laughs> Look at him bumble. My cookie card has crumbled. I need help. <laughs> oh, the Bumbling Knight! <laughs> yeah, he's really bumbly. Oh, dear. I've locked myself in the tower. <laughs> The Bumbling Knight's been wrecking things all over the place. And now he's bumbling towards the castle. Quick, let's raise the drawbridge. <laughs> We'd better go tell the king. Your Majesty? Over here! Your Majesty, the Bumbling Knight is attacking Camelot. Tell him I'm not home. Okay. The king says he's not! Oh, okay, I'll let him know. What did he say, Squidgy? Oh, he just said... Well, we can't just hide if we want him to stop wrecking things. If we want to protect the castle, we're going to have to start acting like real knights. Well, how is a knight supposed to act? I'm glad you asked, Justin. A knight of the round table should be brave, be polite and help others. Well, I am brave. Oh, yes, he is. And polite, too. Oh, why, thank you, Squidgy. Well, don't mention it, Justin. Great. And I just know we all love helping others. Come on, Knight. Or Camelot! Bumbling Knight, I am Sir Justin. Stop wrecking Camelot. Ooh, how brave. <laughs> It's not working. We've got to help the king and protect the castle, Justin. Hmm, maybe I wasn't polite enough. Mr. Bumbling Knight, as Knights of the Round Table, we would appreciate it if you could please stop wrecking Camelot. <laughs> I think you did it, Justin. He's waving goodbye. The king will be so pleased. Thank you, Mr. Bumbling. Have a nice day. The bumbling knight is gone! Yay! It worked! What was that? That bumbling knight must be 
up to something again. <gasps> what if it's a fire-breathing monster, though? Well, if we really want to protect the castle, we've got to be brave. Come on, Knights of the Round Table. Let's go check it out. The sound was coming from this way. <gasps> Maker. That's right. Get your hot dog. Oh, I love hot dogs. I'll have one well done. Squidgy, remember, be polite. Oh, sorry. Please. One well done dog coming up. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah, the bubbling night. <laughs> What's he doing? Maybe he just really likes hot dogs. Better go see if the king needs our help. What a mess! Where's the king? Down here! <laughs> what are you doing down there? The bumbling knight's destroying the castle! You can come out now, Your Majesty. I think he's gone. Doesn't he like chairs? He's going to break all of them. I'm going to stop him once and for all. But you don't know what he might do. Don't worry. Knights have to be brave, remember? Stop right there, Bumbling Knight! Uh... <clears throat> Bumbling Knight, you're wrecking the whole castle. So please stop it right now! Uh... Justin! Oh, God! Mm. What is he doing? <laughs> I think he's trying to get his helmet off. Maybe it's stuck. It sounds like he's crying. Oh, you've defeated the bubbling knight! <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we haven't been as knightly as we could be. But, Justin, we've been telling him to leave really politely. Yeah, and we've been really brave. And we've been helping everybody in the kingdom. Yes, you're right. But there's one person we haven't been helping. Bumbling Knight, do you need a hand with your helmet? <laughs> it's... it's stuck! Oh, hey, what's this? <gasps> it's Sigmund the Squire? Uh, hi, everyone. You're the Squire? But why are you wearing armor? I wanted to be a real knight, so I was trying it on, and I got stuck. But we saw you terrorizing the kingdom all morning. You smashed up the cookie cart. Yeah, and you almost burned the castle down with the hot dog maker. No, 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 you, you don't understand. I wasn't trying to terrorize anybody. I wanted to help the cookie man with his cart, and I thought the hot dog maker was a dragon. With that armor on, I was so clumsy that I just made a mess of everything. I'm sorry. So all along, you were just trying to help people? And you bravely attacked what you thought was a dragon? Hmm, and as it turns out, you've been very polite. Really does seem like Sigmund has what it takes to protect the castle. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Your Majesty? You've learned well, Sigmund the Squire. I hereby dub you a Knight of the Round Table. Oops. Sorry. Um, maybe we should get you some armor that fits you a little better, so you don't scare everyone. And also wreck everything. <laughs> <laughs> very much, very much so. Justin! Oh, that's my mom. Gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. See you later, Justin. So long, Squidgy. Goodbye, brave knights. Bye! Yes, bye, knights. And oh, that's us! Oh, we're the brave knights. Bye! Sammy to leave, Justin? No. Remember, knights have to be brave and polite. Hey, Justin. Hey, Sammy. 
Want to help me protect the castle? We can be knights. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on. Being a knight means being brave, being polite, and helping others. I, Sir Sammy, promise to be all of those things. Great. Could you also maybe be a little more careful around the castle? I don't want it to fall down. You got it, Justin. Dolphin's Dilemma. Come on, Dad. Let's find some animals. Okay, okay. Uh, you see anything, Justin? Um, hey, there's a Mama Robin feeding her babies. I see them. Look, three frogs sitting on a log. Yep, right over there. I wonder what other animals I can find. <gasps> what was that? Hmm, maybe it was Big Goldie. Big Goldie? The ginormous goldfish? Have you ever seen him? Oh, only a glimpse. Then, poof, he was gone. I want to see him, too. Well, you keep looking, Justin, and let me know if you see anything. Hey, Justin, what you doing? I'm looking for Big Goldie, the giant goldfish. <gasps> giant goldfish? Oh, where, where? I love giant goldfish. We have a lot in common, you know. Dad says he's hard to find. I thought I saw a splash by those reeds. Come on. We're coming, Big Goldie. Here, Big Goldie. Ah. Yoo-hoo, Big Goldie. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh, Big Goldie is pretty hard to find. We'll find him, Squidgy. We are really good animal finders. Yeah, we're the best animal finders. We're the best animal finders in the whole wide world! Whoa! That waterfall's pretty and loud. What? I can't hear you, Justin. I Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Amazon, the biggest rainforest in the world. Wow. <gasps> hey, what was that? Over there, I see something yellow. Oh, it's the yellow-billed toucan. She's looking good today. Oh, can I see, can I see? Sure, here you go. <laughs> Hello, Miss Toucan! Good color choice. Aw, oh, where'd she go? Hey, look! There's a really cool frog up in that tree. That's an Amazon tree frog. Your colors are extra bright today, Mr. Tree Frog. Hello, Mr. Tree Frog. Nice to meet you. Whoa, Justin. You sure are good at finding animals. Well, I am an expert animal finder. Oh, that Justin. He's just the best. Well, then maybe you can help me. I'm looking for an animal that's really hard to find. The Pink River Dolphin. Pink River Dolphin? Yep, her name's Carmen. People say she lives just up that river. But I've never seen her before. I want to see a pink dolphin! Me too, Squidgy. I need to check up on her. I'm a conservation officer, and it's my job to look after all the animals in the Amazon. That's so cool! Let's go check on Carmen. Come on, we can take my helicopter. Helicopter? I get the window seat. my 
airboat. Whoa! Cool! Can I drive, Olive? Sure thing, Justin. You steer with this and push forward to go faster. Got it! Is everybody ready? Okay, Justin, turn down here. should be close by. Huh. I don't see Carmen. She must be here somewhere. Maybe she's just up this way. <gasps> Look, a pink fin! It's Carmen! Let's go say hi. Hi, Carmen! I don't see her anywhere. Me neither. Where did she go? She was just here. Let me have a look. Wait, I think I saw her. Yeah, I see her too. But why is she hiding from us? Hey, maybe she wants to play hide and seek. Dolphins are pretty playful. Okay, one, two, three on Carmen. She keeps running away from us. Carmen, come back! We just want to say hi! Let's go and talk to her. Justin? I think he's kind of shy, 
So let's try being quiet. Oh, okay. I don't see anything. You need to be patient. <gasps> Hello, Big Goldie. Dad, Dad, come here. What is it, Justin? Did you see Big Goldie? Shh. You've got to be quiet or you'll scare him away. Let's see. There he is. Wow. I never thought I'd ever see Big Goldie. Thanks, Justin. Let's go see if we can find some more animals. Sure thing, Dad. But let's do it quietly. You got it, Justin. Roman Racers! Justin! I think you left your bike out in the rain last night. I hope it doesn't get rusty. Don't worry, Dad. The sun's out and it's all dry. I can still ride it. All right. Don't go too far now. Wow, Justin, nice bike. Hey, Squidgy, do you want to go for a ride? Only if you promise to go fast. <laughs> I promise. Come on. Ready? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> the bike's not moving. <sighs> These pedals aren't pedaling. Hmm. And your wheels aren't wheeling. I'm pushing on the pedals as hard as I can, but we're not going anywhere. Maybe I can help pull. Good idea, Squidge. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Go! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't working. We need something strong to pull us. Like a dog? Or an ox. Or a horse. Yeah, horses are strong and fast. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Chariots. <laughs> Hi, Olive. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Rome. What was that? That trumpet means the chariot races are starting soon. Chariot races? Hey! Hey, we've got chariots, and I love to race. Oh! Can we race too? Can we? Sure. Just snap the reins and shout, ha, like this. Ha! <laughs> ha! this way and pull on that rein to go that way. I get it, just like the handlebars on my bike. <laughs> yeah! so much fun! Yeah! I can't wait until the real race. Me too. But we need to take care of some things first, okay? Sure! What do we need to do? Well, you can't go fast if you don't look after your stuff. I'm going to take the horses for a drink. Hmm. It looks like it's going to rain. We need to take the chariots inside to keep them dry. We can do that, Olive. Yeah! Great! I'll meet you back here, then. Bye! Bye. Look, Squidgy! <gasps> More chariots! <gasps> Let's go check them out! Wow! Look at this one! It's got polka dots on it! <gasps> and look! This one has stars! <gasps> and look over there! Paint! Let's surprise Olive and paint our chariots, too. What should we paint on them? Yes, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking big orange flames for Olive. Yeah, and lightning bolts for us. <laughs> We're gonna go so fast. Olive's gonna love her orange flames. There, I'm finished our lightning bolts. Hey, 
Justin, look what I did. I finished painting Olive's flames. Cool. That looks awesome, Squidgy. Now let's go find her. Yeah, yeah. Olive, we have a surprise for you. Look now? Not yet, not yet. Okay, you can look. Ta -da! Ta da! Wow, they look amazing. Thanks. <gasps> and you painted them just in time for the race. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Like it just rained. It rained? <gasps> we didn't put the chariot away. It's okay, Squidgy. They're dry now. All right, Justin. Are you ready to race? I'm always ready to race. <gasps> Here we go! Try steering, Justin? Sure. But remember, <laughs> these reins are like handlebars. Just pull on them to make the chariot turn. Okay. I think I got it. Just pull on the reins like this, right? them inside. You forgot? Yeah, and then it rained all over them. And now we're stuck. Sorry, Olive. Don't worry. We can still fix them and get back in the race. All we need is a little oil. Here you go, Justin. Thanks, Olive. Great. 
place. Justin? Um, Dad, can you help me get my wheel unstuck? Sure, Justin. Hmm, it looks like it could use some oil. The rain must have made your wheel rusty. And that's why it got stuck. There, give that a try. <gasps> it worked! Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, Justin. It's almost time for dinner, so remember... I know. I'll put my bike away this time. I can't go fast if I don't take care of my stuff. That's right. But can I just do one lap around the block first? Okay. All right, hop on, Squidgy, and I'll show you some real racing. Whee! <laughs> the sharing box. Look at that, Justin. Our charity box is almost full. Hey, Dad, why are we giving away Tiny? Well, you haven't played with Tiny since you were a little baby. But it's your toy, so it's really up to you, Justin. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me know what you want to do about Tiny later. Hey, Tiny! Long time no see! Where have you been? Squidgy, Dad thinks we should give Tiny away. What? No, uh no way! You're staying with us, Tiny! Mm. Look at all this other cool stuff we're giving away. <laughs> what a funny-looking hat! That's not a hat, Squidgy. That's my toy canoe. Oh. It's a kind of boat. You sit in it like this, and you paddle like this. Hey, this is fun! Um, where are we going? We're going on a canoe trip. Look at that house! It's so long! I wonder who lives there. I do. This is my long house. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Haida Gwaii Islands, home of many tribes. I'm chief of the Sun Tribe, and this is my tribe's totem pole. We're people who really like the sun. I love the sun, too! <laughs> That's the chief of the wolf tribe. He really likes wolves. Chief, these are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I have come to invite you all to my totem pole party. A totem pole party? Sounds like fun. Yes, it will be a howling good time. Howl! <laughs> <laughs> now to get to the party, you will need this totem box. Wow! These animals will guide you to the wolf tribe. These gifts are also for you. Olive, you have a beautiful spirit, so I give you this, a special comb. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Squidgy, in you, I sense a fun-loving spirit, so I give you this. A rattle. <laughs> and Justin, in you I sense a deep adventure spirit. And so I give this a special Haida hat. Wow. Now take care of these gifts. They are very important for the totem pole party. Thank you, Chief. See you at the party. Oh! So what are these animals, Olive? A bear, a sea otter, and a raven. I've seen them on totem poles before. Hmm. I get it. We have to find totem poles with these animals on them. Hey, I see a bear pole. That's the first animal in the box. Cool, let's go. There it is. <sighs> I don't see any parties from here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, a real bear! It looks like she's really itchy. She has burrs stuck to her fur. Let's go help her. 
Hi there, Miss Bear. We can help you. <clears throat> if you could just hold still for a sec. Ouch! These burrs are sharp. How can we get them off? <clears throat> yeah, your fur could use a brushing. Too bad we don't have a brush. Wait a second. My comb! There we go. <clears throat> wow! That comb really came in handy. I know. I just love it. <laughs> I think the bear loves your comb, too. Here, why don't you keep it? Uh. That's so pretty. Oh, that's so you. <laughs> Olive, that comb was a gift to you. I know, but the bear needs it more than me. And besides, she's so happy. Uh. I know, I never know what to do with my hair, either. <laughs> Looking good, Miss Bear. Uh. She said you're looking good in that hat, Justin. Thanks. The wolf chief gave it to me. I almost forgot. The wolf chief's totem party. Let's check the box. We need to find the sea otter totem pool next. Oh, okay. She says it's just across the water and we can use that canoe. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Miss Bear. Bear. Bye. Uh. Totem pole. And that's a sea otter on the top. Hey, it is! What's a sea otter? Oh, Squidgy, they're super playful and so cute. And they love to play in the water. What was that? A baby sea otter! Oh, look at him! Hey, let's play together! Yeah! Oh, you want to try? Sure, here. Hey, another sea otter. That must be his mommy. <coughs> what? You've been looking all over for your baby? <coughs> oh, she found us because of all the rattling. Well, you better keep it. You're such a good rattler. Squidgy, that's so nice of you. But I thought you really liked that rattle. Yeah. But the baby really loves it, and he is so cute. And the mommy will always know where he is with that rattle. Bye. Bye! All right, where to next? The raven totem pole. It's the last one. Hmm. There it is, in the forest. Let's go! Wow! These trees are giant. Even the crows are huge! Those aren't crows, Squidgy. They're ravens. What? The ravens say their nest fell apart. Oh, no. That means they won't have a place to sleep tonight. We'll help you build a new nest. How, Justin? It'll take too long. That's a big pile of branches. Huh. I guess you're right. Hey, I know something that would work. Your hat. That would make a perfect nest. But are you sure? Yeah, Justin, that hat was a gift. Yeah, but these ravens need it more than I do. They say thank you. You're welcome. Chief. We are almost at the totem party. Sounds like he's over there. Let's go. Bye. Hello, Chief. We're here. Hi. You've brought the totem box. Um, Chief, uh, there's something we should tell you. I see the box is empty. There are no gifts. There was a... Poor bear. Uh, we met this really cute sea otter. Um, well, there was a family of ravens, and... I guess what we we're trying to say is... We gave everything away. <laughs> That's wonderful. Huh? huh? But didn't you say those gifts were important? Yes. And the feeling you get when you share with others is the greatest gift of all. You know what? It did feel good to share those gifts. The ravens were so grateful. 
And the sea otter loved his rattle. And the bill looked marvelous. Well, that deserves an owl. Owl. Now come with me. I have a surprise for you. Hey, look. Everyone's here. Your friends have all come to thank you and to help us unwrap our new totem pole. Awesome! Everyone, please take a rope. Now pull! <laughs> wow! Hey, look! It's a wolf! And a raven! Oh, and a sea otter! And there's a bear! And don't forget Olive, Squidgy, and Justin. Ow! Ow! Justin! That's my dad. I'd better go. Bye, everybody! Bye! Bye! Goodbye, Justin. Goodbye, Squidgy. Ow! So, Justin, what are you gonna do about Tiny? Tiny? I know you're gonna make some little kid really, really happy. So, into the charity box you go. Bye, Tiny! Don't lose that squeak! Dad, our charity box is ready to go! Here are your soccer shoes, Justin. Ready for the big game? I don't really feel like soccer today, Mom. But you love soccer. I do, but our team always loses. And I want to win. Maybe today's your day. I just don't want to lose again, Mom. Well, you don't have to go. But I hope you change your mind. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Hey, nice shoes, Justin. We need to get them really shiny. That won't make any difference. You're still going to lose. Well, maybe not. Maybe this time you'll score the winning goal. Me? Sure. You'll score, and the team will win. There'll be trophies and medals. I really want to win, Squidgy. Yeah, you'd win and everyone would be cheering and shouting. And here comes Justin. Shouting my name. Yeah. Looks like wrong way is going the wrong way. No wrong way. You're still in the race. You need to go that way. I guess he just wanted to say hello. And there goes Soaks McGee. But we're in a race. Sorry, he does get distracted easily. Don't you, boy? Whoa, I see what you mean. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way again. <sighs> wrong, wrong way! And the winner of the race is Rum Tom, written by Silks McGee. And wrong way Jimmy doesn't finish the race again. <sighs> I really wanted to win that race. Yeah, we were going so fast. It's okay. Didn't you have fun? Yeah, but it would have been better if we won. Hmm, maybe we'll do better next time. Hi, Olive! Congratulations, Silks. You too, Rum Tum. Thanks, that was a fun race. Silks, these are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Well, hello, fellas. Good riding. Not good enough. We didn't win. Yeah, Wrong Way didn't know which way to run. That's okay. Wrong Way's a good horse, and horses just love to run. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never seen Wrong Way come so close to the finish. You mean he's never finished a race before? No, he's such a fast horse, though. I just don't know why he keeps running the wrong way. 
Well, being fast isn't everything. You've got to focus and do your best. So how do we get him to do that? Maybe you just need to get to know him better. We can help, Olive. Yeah, we'll make wrong way go the right way. <laughs> Good idea, little yellow fella. We'll see you at the next race. Bye, Bye Silks. Silks. When is the next race, Olive? After Wrong Way's lunch. Wow! Wrong Way sure likes apples. Uh-huh. They're his favorite fruit. He would do anything for them. He would do anything, huh? Olive, I think we can use this apple to make Wrong Way go the right way. Watch! <laughs> <laughs> he really likes apples. Okay, Squidge, take this apple and go over there. Right. Hey, Justin, it's really working. <laughs> now go high, now go low, this way. See, Olive, we did it. Now we can get Wrong Way to focus and go the right way. <laughs> this is so much fun. Hmm. You want to run around that tree Wrong Way? Uh, huh? Whoops, I forgot to tell you. He likes daisies, too. I guess we'll have to try something else. You're a good boy, Wrong Way. Let's see if this will help him focus. Oh, a hat. No, Squidgy. It's a cone. There you go, Wrong Way. Good idea. He won't be distracted if he can only see in front of him. Oh, how you doing, Wrong Way? Ready to go, Wrong Way? Giddy up. Whee! Hey, the cone is working. Put this hedge here. <gasps> Wrong way can't see properly with the cone. And he can't race if he can't see. I guess this isn't going to work. What are we going to do now? We need to get his giddy going the right way so he can get his giddy up. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wrong way! <sighs> now that's what I call some giddy up. <laughs> What happened? That's it! What's it? Giddy up! Not again! All we have to do is shout, Giddy up! It's like the magic word that helps wrong way go the right way. You're right. Now we can race, Justin. All you have to say is giddy. You just have to say. No, no, eh, don't, no, no, no. Oh, all you have to say is the magic word. Right, and now that we know the magic word, we're sure to win. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. See you at the races. Hi, Silks. Glad you made it, young feller. How's old Wrong Way feeling? <laughs> There's your answer. Atta boy. May the best horse win. <laughs> Let's go, Wrong Way. <clears throat> Don't forget the magic word, Justin. Right. Giddy up. Whoa. Go, go, go! Hi, Silks! Hey, that horse of yours 
sure looks focused. Look at him go! Yeah! We're going to win! We're going to You might have lost, young feller, but that's the best race I've ever had in my life! It was? Sure it was! And Rum Tum thinks so too! Right, boy? <laughs> and I've never seen Wrong Way so happy. Like I said, horses don't really care if they win or lose. They just love to run! Wrong Way sure loves to giddy- <laughs> hmm? Oh yeah, right. You know, Silks, even though I lost, I did have a lot of fun. Justin! Speaking of fun, I gotta run. I don't want to be late for soccer. See you later, guys. Bye, Olive. Bye, Bye Justin. Justin. And good, good luck! luck. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think we'd better get going. I don't want to be late. That's the spirit, Justin. Anyway, even if we don't win, I'm going to have fun trying. Come on, Mom. <laughs> okay, coming. The deepest dive. Ooh, nice chalk drawings, Justin. Thanks, Quincy. It's like a whole ocean on our sidewalk. But it's not big enough yet. I want it to cover the whole block. Really? Wow, that's big! Hey, Justin! Hey, here comes Sammy. Guess what I just got? Brand new hand grips for my tricycle! Uh-huh. It's really hard putting them on. Uh, can you help me, Justin? I can't right now. I'm drawing an ocean. Oh. Okay. Hey, Justin, can I draw with you? Sure. Grab a piece of chalk. <laughs> okay, what should I draw? How about a boat? Or a shipwreck? Yeah, at the bottom of the ocean. Squidgy, what if we were deep sea explorers in our deep sea diving zoo? Look, Squidgy, we're going deep, deep, deep. Deeper than our really full bathtub? Deeper than the deep end of the swimming pool to the deepest place in the whole wide world! Now this is deep, Squidgy. Wow! Hey, how come you're not floating? That's because I'm wearing special heavy boots. Wonder what these hoses are for. They give us air so we can breathe. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean. What are you doing way down here, Olive? I'm looking for lost treasure. We, we love lost treasure. treasure. Well, this treasure's in a sunken shipwreck near the deepest part of the ocean. Whoa. We'll help you find it, Olive. Thanks, Justin. The shipwreck should be just over that hill. <laughs> What is that? I don't know, Squidgy, but it sure is huge. <laughs> it's a baby whale, Squidgy. Oh, <laughs> that's a big baby. She's Ella. Hi, Hi Ella. Ella. <laughs> <laughs> she sure is cute. 
Hey, where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna miss baby Ella. Bye-bye, Ella. Okay, let's get back to finding that treasure, Olive. Right, it's just around this reef. <laughs> Ella! I guess she wants to play fetch. Sorry, Ella. This stick's a little too big for us to throw. Aww, she really, really wants to play. Hmm. Okay, ready, Ella? Come on, girl. Go get the shell. Go get it. <laughs> For me, really? Ella found a new friend to play with. And we have to get back to finding the treasure. Right! Treasure ho! The old shipwreck! Uh-oh. It's right on the edge of the Mariana Trench. What's that? It's the deepest place in the whole world. That's deep. Yikes! It looks like the ship could fall right in. Well, then we'll lose the treasure. Don't worry, we'll get it. Come on, follow me. We'll need to step down nice and easy. Careful, Justin. Now let's find that treasure. Look at that. That's so deep. I knew the Mariana Trench was deep, but that's way deeper than I thought. It's d d dark down there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, phew. I almost dropped it. Oh, no, my shell. I'm sorry, Squidgy. That's too deep to get back. Ah! We'd better be careful. Or this whole ship could fall down there, too. Right. If we make one wrong move, we'll lose that treasure forever. What does the treasure look like, Olive? It's a big wooden chest. Oh. Like that one? <gasps> Good work, Squidgy. You found it. Now let's go get it. Whoa! The ship's teetering. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? The treasure chest. Take a step back. And another one. Hey, I stopped it. Good work, Squidgy. Now push the chest back to us. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, just give me a sec. Oh, I felt it jiggle. That's it, Squidgy. You can do it. Noise. It sounds like Ella. <laughs> she says she's okay, but her tail is stuck. Oh no! Ella must have been near the ship when it was rocking. Okay, we just need to tip it forward again to free her. But if we tip the ship too much, it might go right over the edge with the treasure. Not the treasure. I've got an idea. Olive, if you hop off the ship, that might tip it just enough to free Ella. Okay, let's give it a try. Ready? Ready. It's working! Was that enough, Olive? <laughs> no, Ella's still stuck. We need to tip the ship just a little more. Then stand back. I'm coming down. But you're the only thing that's keeping the ship from falling. What about the treasure, Justin? I have to let it go, Squidgy. Helping Ella is way more important. There goes the ship. And the treasure. Woo! <laughs> 
Mm. Ella, is your tail okay? <laughs> that tickles. Uh huh. She's glad we're okay too. But too bad we lost the treasure. What do you think was in it, Ella? 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 Where'd you go? I guess she found someone else to play with. <gasps> Wait! What's that? because you chose to save her instead of the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ella, thank you. Justin! Gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Ella. Bye, Justin. So long, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. See ya, Ella. <laughs> Where are you going, Justin? I'll be right back. Sammy said he needed my help. <sighs> hey, Sammy, do you still need my help? Yeah, okay. But what about your ocean drawing? Helping out my friend is more important. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Justin. No problem. Hey, want to come help me with my ocean drawing? Do I ever! 